Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. In the previous episode we went on a long expedition with a very odd team and a new ironclad and it ended up working extremely, extremely well. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have to write about with some of the interactions between those characters. It's going to be interesting. We do have one new character to introduce today and a good few diary entries to get into so let's get right into it. Here we are in the Cursed Estate and we have managed to gather ourselves a good few amount of level 3s now. As you can see, got all the these guys at level three a few of them came in fully upgraded which was really nice and we have a few that aren't so upgraded uh, but we still have i think it's 10 or 11 level ones down here we definitely want to get those ranks up as i play this game i really want to keep everyone evenly ranked and make sure that we're not fo hyper focusing on a few a few people so these people might get a little less play time um in the in the coming weeks but these guys might get a little more and i know that might upset some of you that may, maybe have written one of these guys up here but that's just the way it's going to be we want to keep people evenly leveled so we have a a nice choice of who we can play when it gets to some of the harder missions um but yes we do have a newcomer and this is our pit fighter i believe their name is dai i'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that dai dai um but this is a backstory by cell or as level strafe dai was little more than a child when his parents left him and his infant brother to care of, of their elderly grandmother. He tried his best to care for not only his siblings, but his grandmother, who was suffering from severe dementia. This took a toll on young Dai's mental health, and he was constantly in an empty state for most of his life. At the age of seven, he was forced to work at the local bakery to support his family. It was during one of his shifts when his grandmother suffered a heart attack and died. After that, Dai didn't speak much, not even to his younger brother, whom he fought, found praying often. People at the bakery frequently complained about Dai's haunting looks, which made them uneasy. And with a heavy heart, the bakers fired Dai. And later that night, Dai was forced to send his younger brother to the local monastery in hopes he'd find a better life there. Wrath with ang uh, rough by anger and unable to provide for himself, Dai resorted to a life of crime. He would rob people at knife point, but never harm them. And one day, a mugging went wrong and he ended up killing a woman. It was only upon rifling through her pockets that I realised that this woman was one of the two kind adults who ran the bakery he worked at. She had been on her way to his house with some fresh bread and a few yen coins. Barely enough to live on, but still more than enough, more than anything had given him. Um, it was this event that finally broke him. As an adult, he would sell his services as a bodyguard in hopes that his crimes would be atoned. The coins the baker had been planning to give him before he killed him were melted and forged into his braces when they when the clergy of a state called upon his strength to protect its land he was ready i really like this one i do apologize for butchering a few of those words there. i'm terrible at reading but we have dai here our pit fighter pit fighter is a really really good class and has some very very interesting things here um cooks of like in a kisser come on headbutt jawbreak nosebleed yamum <laughs> so we'll uh we'll select a few of these skills here in the kiss is really really good um gonna debuff speed which is incredible uh, as well as do a bit of extra damage and accuracy versus stunned uh, this one's really good gonna buff our dodge and pro as well as heal and mark ourselves. Um, headbutt is going to be the one that we use to stun things although this does uh, stun ourselves. we also have this here which is going to stun knock back do extra damage versus stun well, extra crit sorry and accuracy versus stunned it is going to buff its damage but lower its accuracy we'll probably take that with us then we have a few different spells uh, i always call them spells skills sorry such as nurse bleeder that's going to debuff accuracy and apply some bleed quite nicely uh yamum which is a backline way of marking and pulling it's also going to buff the target's damage um but debuff their protection speed and accuracy so it's sort of enraging them if you know if you kind of see that we've also got this which is dashing we start off combat with extra speed it actually interesting so actually, this might be this might be very good. I think I think this build here could be very very good, and maybe we'll go out with Dai today and see how that goes on. Um, and these are actually pretty good. I like these. Um, if this works from position three, it does. We'll probably start him off in position three and rush him to the front with this, uh, using a forward three. I think that could be really really good. Uh, but today we've got a few different options for what we might want to do. Uh, as I said, we still want to be doing some of these lower level quests really because we uh, we're still trying to level people up. Um, We've still got a few different bosses to go for if we want to and things like that as well. I think this time, though, we'll go for the um, 
we'll go for the medium adventure into the ruins with um with a few people trying to level them up and this is going to be for an alchemist charm which i really like the idea of this trinket extra healing skill looks really really nice so i think we'll take dai in uh, position one there uh, position three there sorry that's going to move into position one um we could take octavia octavia's pretty pretty good to take with us um Sophia could be really fun to take as well, but she is level two. I really want to take our level ones here, so let's let's think about that. So let's go with Leo here. We need a healer though. That's the problem here. What, who are we gonna take as a healer? We don't have any low rank healers. That is that is kind of a major issue right now. We don't have any low rank healers, so the people we're taking out. We're not gonna be bringing much healing, so we kind of need to make sure they have self heal. He has self heal. You have self-heal. That's that that's good. We could take Octavia, which obviously does have um does have the ability to heal, but it's just not a strong heal. Uh yeah, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be too helpful. Um So we got you going front round, you get pushed into the back. Who are we gonna bring up front? Are we gonna bring Mars maybe? Mars hasn't been out yet. Um and Mars could be could be very, very useful here. Let's have a little look, see. So how does... Mars has some interesting things about how he works. Um, because she by the thought of an adequacy. Oh, my God. So he has this. So valid below 66% HP. Um, can be used in order. Um, so he has two different forms. This is order and this is chaos, I think. Um, so let's have a look. Both self changes mode... Self change mode to chaos. Uh, he gets extra damage, crit. And chaos, he heals himself and changes mode to order. Mm, okay, I don't really understand how that works. So I think this means we can change back and forth. Changing from one to the other will like heal us or buff us. Uh, we got this here, which is going to debuff the target's prot, buff our own prot, and increase our stun chance, which is pretty nice. Uh, we've got the disciplined thrust, which is going to be dealing knockback, a little bit of a damage down. Um, again, buffing stun. Interesting that they've got so many things that buff stun. Ah, okay. Poised cleave here is where we're, where we're seeing the stun come into play. So, he's very interesting, and I would like to learn how to play Mars here. So, maybe we'll take Mars along with us. And we've got to make a pretty hard decision of what we want to do about healing here. Do we want to take Octavia and risk the lower heals? Um risk the, these lower heals being a problem or do we just want to take a higher rank healer like mary who can deal a good amount of uh healing to everyone i think that's probably the better way to play this to be honest but it's it's a difficult choice to make because i would rather i would rather play with our level ones and get those leveled up i don't think chasey has any way to heal here does she not really i'd, l I'd love to use chasey a little more she's always fun uh, yeah, we don't really have healing on anyone else here. I think we're going to take Mary out and uh, and deal with that as it is. Let's uh, let's have a look at what we're going to do for trinkets, shall we? We've got a lot of uh, options here. So I don't think anyone has any class-specific trinkets here. Uh, we do have a, this one here. 20% blight and stun, and stun chance. We might go with that. We might not. We'll see. So yeah, we don't really have too many class-specifics here. So I think up front we want high prop and i think i'm gonna go really am i gonna go really high prop on you i actually think we're gonna go the slime jar wherever that is where's our slime jar there it is okay let me just reorganize these sort by rarity go up here get the slime jar on you because you don't have any healing of your own i always think that's valuable the slime jar there uh, and then we'll go with your maximum hp isn't great Wait, we are lowering that slightly. I don't particularly care about buffing your damage. I just want you to be defensive. So I think we go with this to get that prop. Then Leo, Leo here we want like higher. We're going to be basically using him to stun and blight exclusively. Uh, can this be put on anyone? Seems to be that it can. Wow. Okay. So this, this would be in incredible on maggie well that's that's good to know uh right let's let's carry on with with buffing these guys up shall we so what else do we want on you so 
I think that his specific class specific trinket is going to work nicely on him. So we'll keep that on him because that's going to be that's going to be a nice amount of um, stun and blight skill chance, which I think is 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 just great because we're going to be wanting to do that quite a lot. Um, and I, to be honest, we could just take the resolve XP and try and get him ranked up a little quicker, and that, that might be a good a good idea. But it's always mm, it's always a difficult one. Could go with even more stun chance. Hmm. Or do we go with the scouting chance? I actually think we're going to go with the scouting chance. Because I think that's going to help out greatly. Then you, you're going to take on... Where is it? I've lost it. These. I think you're going to take on these. You don't have a lot of speed. You don't have a lot of dodge. So I think that's fine. Upping your damage and crit's great. And then I think we also, because our dodge is already so low, we up your accuracy and crit even further. And then Mary gets our double our double uh, thing that we have going on here. So we go with that there. It's going to increase your dodge a little bit as well. Minus is your crit, but we don't really care about crit. I, I mean, I say that. We, we do kind of care about crit in a way. Um, and then we put that on you as well. I don't think we have anything else that buffs healing. That's going to be good enough. We'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm a little worried here. Uh, a little worried. Let's just... I'm actually going to uh, put this on, just in case. And we should take Loudenum to get rid of that horror. Yeah, we'll try this out. She's not got super low HP. It's just not as high as we'd like. And these two are fine. You've got a bit of prop there. It's a difficult one. It's a difficult one, but I think, I think we should be okay here. Um... Yeah, I think we should be okay here. So, we got level 1, level 2. This is a level 2 expedition, so these guys are a little under-leveled for this, admittedly. But, I think we kind of have to take this risk and have to go for it here. So, let's, let's head in. Uh, let's get ourselves a plenty of food. Take 20. We'll take 20 food. Four shovels. Uh, four... Four, four, four. I'm actually going to take four of them as well. I don't normally take that much loud in them, but I'm going to take four of them as well. Take 20 of them. Then let's embark. I'm a little bit worried here. I'm a little bit worried. I, I actually need to check our camping skills as well and make sure they're sufficient. Hmm. Again, we're entering with no one that has Prevent Nighttime Ambush. But I, I think at this point, we just have to say that that's just how it's got to be, frankly. Now, we could take the pages, and I've been kind of told how these work, um, kind of. I think we've got to use something on them. Um, I'll, I'll have to refer back to the message to know exactly how to use them, but this definitely isn't the party to go out and try and use those. But let's... Let's embark and let's get into some diary entries that we've got here. We've got one for the uh, for David, the Ironclad, after the Warren's mission, and this is by T. Um, when I had first arrived, I hadn't expected that people would be very welcoming due to my reputation and fearsome machine, but they hardly seemed phased. Some of the locals seemed excited, actually, and I later learned it was because they were only the heroes of this ham hamlet, venturing off into the unknown and slaying monsters. They suggested that I join a party going out, and so I did. I fought alongside some very peculiar allies, facing off an army of half pigmen and half pig, half man monstrosities residing in an old sewer system. It was a slaughter. A skeleton man named Willow at the front, hacking them apart and draining them of life. Some animated statues struck them with strange energies that, that tore them asunder, and a spellcaster in the back struck them with powerful rays of energy and showed proficiency with a bow while my machine burned everything to ash, just like I designed it to. Brilliant there. we still got another one here that I'm going to go through as well. We have quite a few from Shep here, Friendly Shep, and this is one for Rinaldus, Rinaldus not Rinaldius, the Dragon Slayer. Um, and this is after the um, first expedition in episode 20. There. These primitive spikes tra spike traps are nothing to my superior eyesight and dexterity. I might have to go to talk with the trap maker and give him a few pointers on how to hide and place traps. Ronaldo's really, really been cocky there. Your lineage 
Okay, explore 90% of the room, so we have to go down this way first. Hopefully our scouting should help out a good amount here. Um, these two are entering with... Um, with stress, because this is their first expedition, they're, little, they're level one. If you enter an expedition that you're lower level than, you do end up getting more stress. So that's, it's a bit of a problem, but not a huge problem. Um, I think we just go with this and try and stun you. I don't actually know what this enemy is. I've not seen this before, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. And we'll stun you as well. This is going to be kind of a stun heavy build here. So we probably want to be using this. Yeah, that's really good. That's really good. And then you are going to use dash in. It's going to buff you massively and help you out a lot. It's going to negate that uh, speed down that we've got as well, which is really good. There's that stun coming in. Okay, this is this is an, a really nice build we've got going on now. Um, especially considering we've got multiple ways to stun and multiple ways to benefit from stun. Sadly, we can't quite reach that, but we do get the 24 crit there. Dai is going to be hitting some huge, huge hits there. The Blight is going to do a nice bit of work for us there. Not quite going to get us the kill, though. And I think we'll just go for the yank again there. People are going to be a bit scared of uh, of what Mary is, but they're going to have to deal with it if they want to work. I mean, these two, I actually think that Leo and Mary are going to get on very well. They're both abominations within their own right, and they've both have been through a lot. I mean, Leo arguably more, considering he was pretty much created as a war weapon. But uh, Mary has also seen her fair share of um, being exiled and tossed aside because of her deformity and her creature, so to say. And I really think that these two are gonna are gonna bond quite well and probably throughout this expedition, maybe in the camping they'll have a have a nice chat between each other. That that is not great there, but we do usually start first as Mary, considering um Considering Mary has uh, the plus four speed on the first turn, so Mary can just heal herself there. Even though it is a max health base heal, isn't great. Okay, we do have some stress coming in here. The surprise here really helps. Um, so we'll, we can't do that to ourselves actually, so that's a big problem. But we can do this. Just lower our stress a little bit. Um, do we want to go for the double blight? It's not really going to hit for enough. I reckon we just go for a stun on the back line there. I forgot to rearrange you, which is a shame. We get a kill instantly though. Nice. Take out that stress dealer. Okay, we're finally going to take some stress here. Doesn't matter though, because Leo has his own ways of, of dealing with stress. He has learned to comfort himself, and, and he's been doing that for a long time. So I really don't think it's going gonna, it's gonna to affect him too badly, to be honest. We'll get that restoration going again. A little bit of stress reduction there. Um, I think we do this. We'll change mode to chaos at him with him at some point, but not yet. And then we'll here we'll go for the stress reduction. It's these two I'm worried about at the front that are going to be taking a lot of the stress. And it's annoying that we can't quite get to that back line there. Yeah, Leo's going to be taking on a lot of stress here. It's okay, though. He'll he'll try to get as much of that off him as he can. Let's just try and take out these bodies so we can get a bit closer. Um, yeah, let's do that for the stun. We need it. We need to bide our time so we can... Get the bodies out of the way and get you a bit closer so these two front guys can hit you. Lovely. Lovely. We'll open this up, see what we get. More heirlooms. Great stuff. We'll head back this way. But we probably do want to be camping even though it's going to be risky. We'll move you back again. I like the composition we've got going on right now. But yeah, I really do think that, uh, that Leo and Mary are going to have a lot in common. Probably not Dai and um, and Mars here. These two are uh, a little bit, a little bit out of sorts with each other, but they're willing to work with each other to best this evil, as is everyone here. Some people really do hate each other, but some some of them will still put their differences aside to make sure that evil is vanquished. And these guys are really not handling traps well in the slightest. In the slightest. Which is a shame here because we do we do need them to be handling traps a little better than they are. Um, I'm gonna take a shovel, but I think we need to go back this way anyways. We need uh, we need the ability to remove some. Um, we didn't take any holy water. I just noticed. I didn't mean I didn't mean to not take any holy water. Um, I was gonna say we need a confession booth, but we need holy water for that. So 
Maybe not. We'll go this way because it requires no combat. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Yeah, I really love this back this backdrop we've got here. Keep going. I'm a little worried about Mars's stress levels. He's taking the front line for the first time, and he's a little bit he's a little bit over his depths, and that could be a problem for him. But let's hope that he can hold it together. Stay sound of mind, be the true warrior that he really is, and and lead this group with an iron fist. I'm hoping he can. So sadly we can't we can't enter that because I'm stupid. This is a hard bit of combat here, thank god for the surprise. Um and with that surprise we're gonna do that. Get that stun immediately. I'm actually gonna do that and stun you as well. That's a bad miss. Okay, this is gonna enter chaos mode now, I think. And we dash in. Not going to get us the kill, but it is going to buff us immensely. It's going to probably take a little bit of bleed here. Actually, we managed to negate it. This guy does get stronger with every turn he's active, so... I think he has really high stun resist as well. His blight resist isn't high, though. But we can't hit him with blight from here. So... I guess we just carry on sunning you. Make sure you can't stress us out while we're doing this. And we, we take on you with, uh, with the guy with the most health. Um, no one's looking too unhealthy right now, but I think Mars can do with a little bit of a heal, get him topped up to full. Okay, so we can only change mode when we're low health. I see, I see. Finish you off. He's getting stronger and stronger. He's up to 20% damage. That's going to keep going up. Ah, he's moved himself back. That's not good. It's not terrible, but it's not good. Okay, we're fine. We got that slime heal there as well, which is lovely. Pushing him back isn't good, though. I'm actually going to do this just to try and kill him. Didn't quite get him. And we're going to end this off in a bit of a weird way, I think. Let's keep doing that. That. E. This is exactly what we want here. Do this to get everyone healed up. And there we go. Gives us restoration, gets everyone healed up. I think it's the best way to do this. Okay. We're doing okay here. We've not got too far to go now. Scouting is going to let us know which way we need to go. And I think this is probably the perfect time to get a camp in. Um... Our group's relatively movable, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave them in the composition they're in right now. I was thinking about moving them about, but I don't think that's the right player right now. We've got plenty of food, so we can do this. Let's have a look. So Mary can add a bit of prot to herself as, as well as lower her stress. Uh, self only, less accuracy, more damage, more prot, healing, and lower stress. Self only, extra damage, more stress. Ooh, I'm okay. I've got a bit of a bit of an idea here. Let's see how it goes. Um, yeah, party minus twenty. Ooh, that's insane. That's so good. We don't need that at the moment, but that is really, really good. Okay, so I think the the, the way we do this is we go like that, and we go like that. Why are you taking more stress? I don't know. Uh. Then we use this to lower that stress off. And then we go with that. We got extra prot and extra damage. And I don't think anyone has any one costs, do they? No. We'll hope we don't get ambushed here. We didn't, very luckily. Very luckily. Let's clear that horror off of you. Gonna help out nicely. Whoopsie, did not mean to do that. Head up to security over here. And yeah, I think I think that worked out really well. We got pretty substantial buffs here. Extra accuracy, crit, and damage. And we got extra protection and damage here. Which I think both of those are going to help us out massively. And really bring this group into its own. That is a big, big guy. Does he have much stun resist? It's relatively high. Um, I think I'm going to try it anyways. It resisted. Sad times. That stress is pretty bad, although that does help us with our um, thingy. Sun chance is zero right now. I think we just take a strike against you. 
Do we try and stun him again? I think we do. Yes. Good, good, good. We're going to take on some stress here, but I think it's okay. Pushed him to the back. That's nice. That might stop him from doing as many of his abilities. I don't actually care about Mary taking on too much stress here because she's kind of built for that. Missing on that enemy is not good. She's kind of built for that. She can reduce her own stress and she 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 do uh, like all of her attacks get better as, as her stress goes up anyways. But that is a big hit there. He's dying to the blight. Nice one. Huge hit there, Dai. Well done. Nice. Really? You dodged it again? No. We need you to go. Let's keep reducing their stress a little bit. Get it down somewhat. I'm actually going to try and stall this combat out a little bit. That does not help. Not help. Yeah, we can't do anything else here, actually. Oh, no, we can do this. You can enter his rage mode. Which is interesting. Debuff self with a lot of less accuracy. Um. Wow. All of these debuff his accuracy so much. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know how to feel about that. That second mode that he has there. Nice. Okay, that didn't go quite to plan. Um, 55, 60, 60, 70. Ugh. Ugh. I knew I didn't like our chances there. Even 70% chance still feels low in this game. 70% chance feels like a low roll. <laughs> right, carry on forward. We do have some herbs, so we'll definitely use this. That's great. Nice amount of money there. Do remember we can back out if we need to. I don't think we do right now, but we can if it's necessary. I'm actually going to leave the composition how it is right now, so we can do things a little more quickly. Get into dealing that damage when we need to. Torch there. And this should be our last room, actually. I don't think we need to do the last two here. Yeah, and we're going to we're gonna completely, yeah, duck out there. Yeah, Mary took on all the stress there, but she's a stressed person. She takes on stress. She That's what she does. Got a nice amount of gold there. Pressured. Not great. That's alright. Minus 20 percent healing received from infusion isn't great. Trapped Asylum in the ruins. I mean, she definitely learned her lesson there, I think. She definitely really felt that <laughs> that wasn't a good uh, good run for her. See if we got anything. Got a veteran leper, which is pretty good. Um... We got a privateer finally. Okay, let's let's have a look here. We got we got a lot of good stuff going on right now. Um, where's our leper? Oh, um, our acolyte has, has has gone off. He's disappeared for a little while. Where's our leper? Leper Hammurabi. There you are. So we definitely want to be going like this and taking on. Let's have a look at what we're swapping out. So, since so stress versus humans, we get that um, for... Wait a minute. Just, I'm just going to switch this skill over real quick, Sarah, so and make sure I remember later. We've got Undying, Trap Disarm, Double Trap Disarm, Extra Stun Resist, Extra Stress in the Warrens. Can we just talk about the, the Trap Disarming Leper here? 25, 25, and 25. <laughs> That's insane. So much trap to Sam. Right, Hamurabi, you've been upgraded. Um, Ham. Hamurabi. You've not got any trinkets on you, have you? No. Goodbye. Old Hammurabi. And um, we have ourselves a Privateer as well, which is good. Privateer is a very fun class. I'm happy to have him on board. Um, and I actually might even uh, introduce him right now if I can get the uh, the backstory up really quickly here. Let me just do that one second. Have it very, very close by, so it shouldn't take too long. 
This is a this is a really really big one, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Right. Let me just put that into our document here. Okay. This is our privateer. Very excited to introduce the privateer. Like I said, a very fun class. And this is William. Okay, this is our privateer William, and this is a backstory by DB Fan. William was always a troublemaking kid. It may be why he was so intrigued by the pirates, always dreaming of adventuring and the troubles one could cause. Until one day, he got the chance to join one. He took it without hesitation, and from the crew he learned a lot. From how to sword fight, to being a decent shot with a pistol, to even playing shanties. The crew basically became a second family to William. But then things started to get strange. A mysterious benefactor hired them and ran them ragged across the globe collecting mysterious artifacts and having them deliver them to a concealed area where they were carried away by pulleys. William didn't like this as he always smelt a rat but stayed quiet. Until one day, the captain had been talking and demanding more pay. William was against this thinking that they should cut their losses and just get a far, as far away from this place as possible. The longer they worked for this person, the more William thought he saw things. Moving corpses, terrible monsters in the woods, and sometimes more unspeakable things. This eventually broke out into a heated argument that ended with William going out on the town to drink and calm down. In the dead of night, he headed back to the ship to apologise, but still wanting to convince the captain to leave. When he saw the ship sinking, sinking a glow came from the anchor. The crew was unable to get off the ship, as the anchor seemed to be wrapped around all of them. William could do nothing but watch as his crew drowned, cur cursing the benefactor, and William in rage at their fates. William in a depression was happy in in a depression was happy when he heard the rich bastard that killed his crew died. But then he heard of the heir coming to the hamlet, hiring mercenaries to help pull purge uh, to help purge the evils of the land. With no money and no transport, he had no option but to begrudgingly join. And that is a great backstory that ties in the sunken crew, and I'm super, super happy to have the privateer. He is yet again, also the yips is like great for him to have, not in terms of actually having it, but it's like, isn't the yips like something sailors get and like people that are, people that are like out at sea. So the, the less accuracy there is bad, but he gets some really, he has some really interesting stuff that you can do here. Um, basically we've got, this here, uh, which is going to debuff everyone for less dodge, less accuracy, less damage. He's got this, which is a party heal, as long as a stress heal. Does debuff the target with, or chance to debuff the target with a little bit of speed loss. He has a straight up heal and stress heal, which again is a speed loss. This is all because it's all alcohol, that's why they're losing their speed. And we have one use per battle uh, and a bottle of rum, which is going to buff his own damage and crit. It's going to buff himself, uh, sorry, debuff himself for minus dodge and minus accuracy, but it is going to, it's also going to lower his stress healing and um, his normal healing skills. So we probably don't want to go with that. Um, probably go with Belay, I think, and make him a full support unit. And we might actually bring him out on the next expedition here. He probably doesn't want to go to the curve, but I don't know. Ooh, making the monk into a full on healer could be interesting. Um, Privateer. Plus 25 stress healing skills, minus 25 healing skills. Sounds interesting. I don't know if... Do we have any privateer-based um, based trinkets yet? I'm not sure if we do. Let's just open up privateer and we'll be able to see. Yes, we do. So we have extra extra health and damage, but it is going to lower his healing and stress healing. We probably don't want that on him, to be honest. Uh, the accuracy really doesn't matter if we're just healing up as well. I think that's going to be pretty good for him. Uh, we don't really have anything else that we want to look at. And just to check... Nah, there's nothing here that we can buy. We can't quite afford anything there. Uh, we still have a lot of uh, crest and things to use. We we might want to get into start starting to do some of this sort of stuff and get like maybe the bank going. Um, if we get to 50 portraits, taking the bank might be a good idea. But 50 portraits is a lot. We'd have to trade everything into portraits, and I don't know how good of an idea that is. Let's have a look though. Um, so. To get to 50 portraits, we need we need 38, don't we? Is it 38? No, 28. Sorry, 28. So, if we go with all of these...
all of them gets us up to 19. So then we'd be nine off. Then all of them. Okay, so we can do this. We'd have to trade out pretty much everything we have. How about if we do it for um for, for crests? They normally we get up to nine crests. Fifty-four. Oh wait, how many how many crests do we need to do it? Do we need crests to do it? I think we do, don't we? Oh no, it's just it's just portraits. We don't, we don't need any crests. Uh, I think we'll I think we'll do this. You know, I think we'll do this. Let's uh let's put into that now while we can. That's gonna be really really beneficial to us. So we will trade away some busts because we got a lot of those. First of all, let's. Let's trade away our crests first. So, should we do all of them or just some of them? I think we'll do 70 for 12. And then the rest will go in this. So, 34. We need 50, so we need 16 here. There you go. And we go over to this. Scroll down. And we have the bank. Now, uh, we gain 5% gold interest per week. So the more gold we have accumulated, the more gold we get. Which is really, really nice. It's going to be really good. We also have a lot of other places that we can make as we go along here. That's going to buff different units and things like that. But we won't worry about them for now. But that is a really nice get for us. I'm very happy about getting that early. Let's have a look where we want to go on our next adventure here, shall we? Let's have a little look what we want to do. Um, I have a few different options. Plague Doctor with extra d disease resist doesn't seem all that good. Um, two times purchase and resell value. What? 10 cents stress if golden inventory. The spellbound coin. Let's see if I can find out something on the interwebs about that. The spellbound coin. Darkest dungeon. Oh. How does that work? Yeah, I found it's from the 81 Trinkets mod. It's going to be hard to find exactly what it does. So, I don't know. Does, does that mean the trinket itself? Does that mean the trinket itself um, is, costs twice as much and sells for twice as much? Or... I don't, I don't really know. It still seems like a good trinket, though. Extra accuracy and dodge. Only for a tiny bit of stress if golden inventory. Uh, I think we'll go for this one. So let's uh, let's quickly take off what we need to take off these guys. And get ready for our next expedition. But this is this with the first lot was a good expedition. I think it went well. Uh, so we definitely want to be taking William. William's going to be great. I think he's a position three. He is, definitely. Let's get him in position three. Let's chuck all these guys out first. You go there. William's going to be coming along with us. Um, Havarad, I kind of want to bring Havarad with us. Let's let's have a look at what, what he can do. Um, wow. We light the fuse sounds insane. 92% chance for an extra 310% damage, but it's going to lower his accuracy. Yeah, let's, let's, let's bring him on board. Bring him... In the back line. Uh, we kind of want anything that's going to blast him back. Uh, let's. We, this is going to be like a, a good session to sort of read everything out. So we definitely want Light the Fuse. We probably want that as our last skill though. So we'll, we'll put that as our last skill. Kaboom is going to be a knockback one. It's going to knock him back and the enemy back one. Has a slight st chance to stun. And it's going to debuff the target. I think that's good. We'll take that. Uh, rocket jump. We probably don't want to be moving forward. Bombard is going to be... Um, mainly for shuffle and going to debuff their stun resist trapnel blast is going to hit everything for bleed um, I, bleed isn't good in the curve though is it if I remember correctly bleed isn't go good in the curve or is it the other way around I remember I, do, I don't think bleed is good in the curve oh he has a repurst which is really nice um 
Yeah, so we'll definitely put that on as well. He has on my mark, which is going to be basically a mark skill. Ooh, that's really good. And then we'll go with that. Okay, let's try that out. Uh, we definitely want to buff his accuracy up as much as possible because that accuracy down is going to be quite bad. Uh, who else are we going to bring on this with us? I know that sisters are kind of someone we want to bring, but I want some like... I don't know, maybe sisters would be good because we do have some heavy stress reduction in, in this these two skills here. The, the, the minus to speed isn't going to be too bad. Um, basically, the way that this works is you have two different forms. You have warrior and scholar. And you switch between the two forms to, like, you get stressed the longer in forms. And you got to switch between forms to do certain things. It's a, it's a weird one. Um, but I think maybe we can make this work. So let's, let's bring her along and see wh where do we want her. We probably want her in second position anyways. Yeah, seems like we do, definitely. Crimson Dance isn't something we're going to be able to use too much, but I kind of like the idea of that. And then who do we want leading the charge? Who do we want in the front line? Um, Chasey's always one that I want to bring with us, but I I don't know how well she works in the front line. Her, her switchover, it puts her forward three, but she steals one HP per ally, like... 1 HP from every ally per turn. So that's... It's not sustainable, really. Um, Silent Care, she can use to disable stress and steal 6 dodge. She can use this to steal damage and stun versus marked, which kind of synergizes with Haverad. Um, Haverad. Is she really the one we want leading the charge? I don't think so. But I'm going to take her. Oh, wait a minute. Her HP is insanely low. Insanely low. That could be problematic. Like, look how much lower it is than everyone else's. Maybe we don't want to take her because of how low that HP is. Maybe we'll take Oracle or Victoria. Victoria really isn't the best for this because she does a lot of damage against bleeding targets. Maybe we'll just take Cura. Yeah, let's take Cura. Cura is always good. Uh, he does extra damage versus bleeding, but he does extra damage versus marked as well. We'll go with that for the mark. And what else do we go with here? Go with a pull and the chain gang as well, I think. That's going to be pretty good. Right, so let's let's get buffing these guys up. Um, let's start by rarity again. So you, we definitely want to have the, the double healing stuff going on with. The double healing really works here. Um, we get extra dodge. We don't need the accuracy or crit. Uh, we do get minus HP, but that extra healing is going to be huge. Uh, Haverad, we definitely want the focus ring on you. Um, just because that's going to lower our dodge from from 2 to... Well, actually, what's it going to lower it from? Yeah, from 5 to 0, which is fine. That accuracy is huge, though. Um, we really need that. Along with... Hmm. Um... Along with... What's going to be best for you? 15% damage to ranged skills. I don't really think that's that worth it. Do we want the prot on you, maybe? Would prot be good? The prot on blight duration. Do we have any position 4 base trinkets? I think we do, don't we? Maybe not. I thought we did. Maybe not. Oh, maybe you could just take this. Yeah. You, you you can take that. You can be like a heavy damage dealer. You, I think genuinely, we just do this. And just lower the stress on you as much as humanly possible. Um, Just go with full stress reduction. And that'll really help out there. And then on this, dude, definitely take the slime jar. Slime jar is always a good shout. And what else do we want? Do we want to go with the up-close damage? 25% damage in, if in position 1. I don't think we need the damage considering um, how much damage we're already doing. Minus 5 speed's pretty bad. It basically means he always goes last, but it does make him pretty tanky and gives him more damage. Hmm. We kind of want to go for extra stun damage, really. Extra stun chance, sorry. We're not really finding that. Not really finding that at all. 
Lead chance doesn't really help us. That doesn't help us. That doesn't help us too much either. Oh, this is a, a difficult one to decide. Let's just go with the, the, the prop there, I think. The prop's always good. And this is a pretty damn good group, I think, now. Let's just check to make sure people don't have any specific needs for us to bring things. No, that we're, we're fine for everything here. And let's check camping skills as well. The... Uh, no. You don't have it either. Oh, prevent nighttime ambush. We have prevent nighttime ambush here for a little bit of stress. Which is, frankly, okay. Yeah, okay, we're, we're fine with that. Right, let's uh, let's head out into the curve. This is only a level one uh, battle, so it's not going to be too difficult for us. And we'll buy ourselves 20 food. 20 torches. Four, four, four. Oh, cool. I think we're good to go. And let's embark. I'm pretty happy with this group. This could be a really, really good group. And we also do have a few more diary entries here. We have a few more from Shep here. One from Morgana after the second expedition of part 20. I've heard complaints of Urku not landing his hits. And it seems the complaints were true. He misses a little too frequently for my taste. Although when he did hit, he sure did pack a punch. I'd like to learn how to punch like that. And then another one from Willow after the expedition in part 21. The hulking iron monstrosity behind me was so loud, I could hardly hear the blood draining from my enemies. And I like that sound. <laughs> I love that. These salt soaked caverns are teeming with pelagic nightmares. Okay. They must be flushed out. This is a medium. It does not look very long at all. Not look very long at all. That's a good amount of stuff out of that. Happy to have all that. I think this should be a really strong group, though. The light, the of... Okay, it's getting a surprise there is really good because it allows us to set up. Um, yes, it's definitely Blight that, that they're susceptible to, not Bleed. So we can use this here to Blight and Mark, which is really good with you. Um, do that. That actually does damage as well. I did not know that. Okay. Great. You do extra damage against Mark, we'll take that. Light the fuse. 310% damage, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, you don't, don't target someone with minus 40% um, stress. Activate repose here. That give any stress. <laughs> Didn't look like it. Nine stress, okay. Ow. Oh, of course he got the plague. It's fitting, but my god, is it annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> of course he got the plague. This is probably one of his crew members. Kaboom. I didn't even think of that, but that, that did pretty well. Really good. Really lowers a lot of their skills. I like that a lot. That Blight and Boss Mark is great. We're dealing with her stress quite well at the minute. Tain, we really need him to die, considering he's, he might give plague to everyone else. Uh, let's back off that bleed right there. Kill you. Finish you off. God damn that weapon. Holy hell. A restoration on you. Not a bad amount of healing there. You can't taint us again. Wow, we are... We are low HP here. You gotta be careful. Um, does this do damage? It doesn't. Uh, we need to finish you off. Wow, this is, a, this is a difficult one. I'll finish you off with that. Wow, we got a lot of stuff there. Okay. Um, we got a lot of stuff there. What is this? What is this? Okay. Okay. We may have made an incredible build just now. So, 20% healing received. 
on any action buffs allies with 20% healing received if they have the plague. 35% receive... Whoa, what the hell? Receiving to get the plague. On any action, self gain plague small chance. Ah. Okay, I thought that would be better than it actually is. So it basically gives you this it gives yourself the chance to gain the plague. Which is fine on him because he's already got it. By the way, if you're wondering what the plague does, it lowers our maximum HP, increases our stress, it lowers our blight resist, but it increases our damage, speed, and blight resist. It's not great. The increased stress is very annoying. Hmm. That's really good to keep. But, I don't think we need it. The fact that we have a way to give people the plague is interesting. Definitely keep that. But yeah, I don't think we want to put that... I, th I was thinking that was going to be really good for us. We don't want to actually put that on anyone for now, though. Um, that. Wow, an interesting start. An interesting start. A lot of stuff we're getting here. Don't need that, to be honest. I know it's worth money, but still. Ow, thanks for that dodge, Cura. Aren't you great, Cura? Cura, Cura, Curia. <laughs> Too similar. 100% of rune battles, we definitely need to go this way. That's good to know. Was well, going to anyways, but still good to know that we do need to. Yeah, he also, with the plague, he does have the chance to hit his teammates, and I think he has the chance to refuse to heal them too, so this, this might not be great for us. The surprise there is, again, very, very useful. Let's get the blight on you right away. I'm just going to de-stress you. Heal you up, de-stress you. That mark makes that incredible. I'm going to finish you off with a crit. Nice one, Haverad. Doing great. He's going to get stunned. That's okay. Stop targeting the person that gives themselves stress. My god, game. <laughs> oh, you could go for literally anyone. Ow, he's stunned as well. Oh, he resisted. Nice. Give themselves stress and it's like, hmm, I will stress deal this person lots, I think. Yeah, nice stun there. Reducing that speed as well, even better. Oh, unfortunate Mr. Kira. Fortunate miss. Need to get that bleed off, really. Now you're bleeding as well. Oh, my God. Uh, let's go with this. This is going to reduce everyone's speed, but... Heal everyone up. I think is great for us. Nice hit. That should kill you next turn. The stress is getting quite high now. We might want to change over. We'll do this to reduce your stress a little bit. I know that you need healing up front, but that's okay. We'll change you over. And with this, we can... Oh, okay. I've just realized. Uh, when you switch modes, all of her things um, are move-based. That's not good. Switching mode with her isn't the best for us right now, actually. Um, let's do this. Oh, that's that hits both of those. Okay, that's that's a really good skill actually. She's a, she, so she's she's someone we need to use more in a move party. Getting critted there is horrible again. Want to use her more in a, in a movement based party? Stop trying to stress. God damn Yatsu! Try, try to stress her out. God damn it! So annoying. Not good. Uh, God damn, we do not have a lot of space today. We do not have a lot of space today. Right. Reset our party. Uh, probably clear that off you. Uh, no, not really. We, is it, we can we can take the damage on the on the head. I think it's not too much. Rather not waste a bandage for that. 
This could be difficult, though. This is a lot more battles than I was anticipating. A lot more battles. And while our healing is okay, it's still a little stressful here. Especially with this guy having the plague and bound to hit someone soon. Okay, brigands here. We'll be able to take these guys out relatively easily. Um, gonna activate repost here. And let's just do that. Get that started out. Nice. You can light the fuse, start that up. Hit on our privateer here. Oh, a point blank shot and a dodge for Kuro there. Lovely. Go for a heal here. Oop. Wait, I just remembered that I cannot swim. <laughs> and that stressed everyone out. That's the thing that stressed everyone out. That's okay, though. It's okay. You try to attack us. No, thank you. And I miss. Damn it. There's that accuracy down. Coming into play. I didn't realize that's a stress minus nine for other people. That's really good. Weed out's great there. It's a lot of blight. A lot of blight. Maybe we want two stress managers on the team, really, with her. Although seven per, per use is really good and it's balancing out nicely, it is a little, little touchy. Little touchy. I'm going to do a little bit of eating here. I know it's not advisable to do that, but I think we need it right now. Nice. Another box. Nice. Okay. Here we go. The stress coming out. 17. That's not too bad. I think I'm going to start out with this. This is really good. We need to kill this guy first here. So let's do that. Make sure he dies. Good. He's gone. So how much does this do at base? F between 5 and 12. It could kill him one hit here. It didn't, but it could have done. It also stuns too. Or it can stun us too, I should say. That's a bad hit there. That's going to be some brine on us too. Definitely need to heal up Kiro here. He's a little low. I'll even do that. I know he's not stressed out, but the healing is very, very important. Ow! Leave him alone! <laughs> he did not like you. He just struck him in the face. And nice there, Havarad. Nice dodge. I'm actually going to do this again. And then heal you for the stress. Rather than doing it that the other way around. Lovely. I actually think we keep going on this fight. Just to get the more healing. Brian. Nice dodge. That was more of a miss than a dodge. But still. Heal you up. Reduce our stress a little bit here. Get Everyone else gains a little bit, but I think that's fine. Go back for that restore. Shouldn't kill you. Good, good. Shouldn't kill you. It did. Crit. That's okay. That's okay. We're getting a lot of pages. We should maybe read these. Okay, it's a list longer than the actual page. We'll go through these at some point, but I'm not too interested in them right now. Ship figurehead. Don't actually know what this does. Let's just try it. Hey, damage and speed. Love it. Love it. Oh, this is nice. Uh, this removes a curio, doesn't it? Oh, we don't have any of those. Damn it. Yeah. Go back that way then. Got to check what that was really quick. Okay, we should be fine here. We do have prevent nighttime ambush, preferred, so do not be afraid to camp when we need to. We can get through it. Another bad group here. Take this guy out first. I'm gonna do that on you. Not quite killing him, but that's okay. Oh, very close to killing him. Finish you off. Good, good. Okay, call of the deep. That's fine. As long as it's not dealing stress to us, I'm happy. Nice dodge, Kura. 
The barrier there does hurt a little bit. We can deal with it though. There's the stress wave coming in. Let's finish you off in the middle. A blight should finish you off. Just realised that we're in the wrong position here and I don't really know how we got here. I'll do that though because that'll kill the back too. Crit for six there. Of course his prot is helping him out a lot right now. And his buffs are insane. Nice dodge there, William. Okay, just keep striking on this guy. Um, I'm going to do that for the restoration and stress reduction there. Keep hitting him. He's just bouncing cannonballs off his shield one after the other. A little bit of bleed there. I think we can get rid of that. Yeah, stress is getting abnormally high here, so we've got to be careful. Should be okay, though, and you should be dead now. Nice. All right, swap our group around a little bit here. We don't have any holy water anymore. Can't do anything with that. Oh, wait. We have to go back through here, don't we? It's 100% of room battles, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so we have to check this. Don't have anything to do with that anymore, either. Yeah, we're good. Probably want to start camping soon. We've only got 15 food left, so we don't want to do a full, full-fledged camp either. Like eating eight food is what I mean. Of course, we have a battle back here. As soon as we go back, the the, the corners get ar get around our behind. Should be okay to take this, these guys out pretty quick though. Let's get the blight on the back line and then just attack the front line. I'm gonna do this actually though. Get rid of that stress a little bit. Manage that. Hit you. Ow. Finish you off. Wow. Huge crit there. Nice one, Haverad. Well done. People are just... <laughs> I just imagine him in the back line. He's just firing this massive cannon. Everyone's ducking to get out of the way of it. Ducking for cover. Running and screaming. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Fire this massive cannon at everyone. Nice dodge. Nice. Huge, 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 huge. And even huger. Very well done. Very well done, everyone. Let's move on to the task's end, as he says. Go for this battle. I think after this battle, we'll camp. Not too bad. These two are a bit of a pain. I'm going to try and take out you quickly because of the curse. Still going to keep on with this. Get your stress down. Allow you, it allows you to do more. There he is. He's gone. And there's you gone as well. Lovely. Lovely. I can't believe how fitting of it that William got the curse immediately. The curse of his crew, nonetheless. I can imagine a diary entry of him now recognizing the man that gave him the plague. Can see it now. Hopefully, DB DB fan has some imagina imagination about what can be uh, what can go on there. I love his writing, so he always ends up creating great backstories and diary entries. We're taking six stress now from that. Why are we taking six from that? All scholar skills gain hundred. What 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 did we do that from? Damn. What caused that to happen? I've not been paying attention to how this works. Ow. Ow. That hurt a bit. Oh, we got another one. Another one. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that for now. Take that. Sorry, Stern. Uh, so. Right. So. This is... Minus 10 stress, minus... So we get minus 20% stress. That's just uh, just a flat minus 20% stress for anyone that has the plague. Oh, wait. What's the embrace? That's the plague. But it says... This one and this one says... If, if they have the embrace. What's the embrace? Hmm... 
Hmm. I wonder. I've not. I've not seen that yet. Seen that come up. Oh wait. Only four food. Do we have two? Do we have two people that are only taking half food? Lean. Yeah. So we have lean on you. And we have lean on you. Okay, that works out. I like that a lot. Right, let's have a look, see what we've got going on here. So we definitely want Prevent Nighttime Ambush. That's going to stress everyone out a little bit, but we need it. Self only, minus 40% stress. L a little bit extra stress on everyone else. Um, self only, less stress, healing, one companion. Oh, wait. That would have been way better. <laughs> Although that is minus 15 range skill damage, which isn't great. I think here we do that. I actually do think we do that. Go with the plus 15 stress on everyone else, but minus 45 on us. And then we go like that. Minus 60% stress for four battles. Insane. Minus 75% stress plus the 40%. She cannot be stressed. This woman cannot be stressed. Nothing gets to her. The way is lit. The path is clear. Yeah. <laughs> 75 plus 20 plus 20. Wow. Brigands again. And we got the surprise as well. How much stress do we get? One. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So now we can focus more on this guy dealing damage. Well, buffing and healing over other people. Oh, he's so close to down. So close. Stuck us a little bit there. Point blank shot's going to hit pretty hard. Got you. That's going to hurt. Yep. Had a feeling. Restore ourselves here for a bit. So I think the longer we stay in one mode, the worse, it, the worse things get. We don't have the ability to heal any of this bleed off of us. We just got to deal with it, sadly. I'm going to have to stall out this combat to heal up here. We need the healing on everyone. You need it more. Okay, that's enough stalling. We can kill him now. We can't kill him now because I can't do that yet. Do that. Let's just mark him then. Don't shank me. Ow. Didn't even kill him. Wow. Really expecting that to be pretty much an instant kill there for us. Yeah, so we, we want to be swapping modes a lot, but we don't need to. Get that body out of the way. That ended up going all right, actually. That shank did hurt, though. Wow. Heck you. Seventy, eighty, eighty-five, eighty-five. Still not enough. Still not enough. Avrod's looking a bit worse away here. I'm a bit worried about him. Got a secret room. That's a really good find there. Uh, I actually think. How much food do we have left? Eleven. I reckon we do that and have enough for two checks. We've got a lot of battles coming up though. Still, surprise there is really good. Allows us to do stuff like this off the bat. Yeah, so basically, just the longer we stay in one mode, the, the, the higher amount of stress we get here. Of course, they all dodged. Finish you off, good. Okay, we definitely need to reduce some stress on our man William here. That stun isn't a big problem here. Going for the stun and the bleed. Oh, and you're getting another turn, are you? And another stun. Okay, that's starting to be more of a problem now. Especially when both people that are... Guy, you can't be doing that to everyone. Stressing them all out like that. Nice kill, Kira. Nice kill. Use that stress level. Yeah, I think with the stress reduction, she works really well, even if you just stay in one mode. And that's a huge kill there. Great. Not happy about that health, though. 14 out of 28 with... 
A lot of bleed damage coming up. Lovely. I'd love to use that, but I can't. I'm very worried now. I'm very worried here. Uh, I think we take the risk and go for two of those. We know that we don't have to eat as much, so... We know we can go in here and, and trade some shovels and stuff, so I'm going to do that now. Let's just trade out... Actually, let's just trade out the holy water, shall we? Just in case. Doubt it'll be relevant, but just in case. Okay, this battle here could bring us back. You need the restoration. So bad. You need to get a kill. No, Kira. We need that kill. Both of them weak, but neither of them down. You need the heal. And here comes the shocker. Yes, the resist. Well done, well done. Oh, the sea barrier. That's bad. Here are the sea. They're just healing each other now. And he got a crit on himself as well. Great. Let's weed out on you. That'll finish you off, hopefully. Ah, thank God for the dodge there. Well done, Yatsu. Is Yatsu right? Yeah, Yatsu. Finish you. No, Kuro. You need to be hitting things, please. Nice dodge, everyone. The party heal there. Finish you off early, just so you don't get another turn. I'm really worried you can get another plague hit here. Certainly possible. Nice one, Yatsu. No plague hit. Get this guy down. He resisted the blight. He resisted the blight. Nice kill there, Kuro. We needed that. We needed that. It was huge. Boom. Almost. Almost. He's going to get one more bleed out, I think. Nope, maybe not. But this weed out he might die straight on the spot. He does indeed. Lovely. Right, two more Kuros and one more room. We're good to go. Oh, we got quite a lot of stuff today as well. Quite a lot of stuff. Very happy about this. I've just realized how long this episode is going to be, though. Wow. So I think this means a uh, pirate crew. That's what it means. Okay. I thought that meant they could deal the plague, but... Hit everyone with that. Nice crits there as well. Ow, that's a big hit. Nice hit there. Finish you off. Lose your crew bonus. Good. Stop it. Leave Yatsu alone. He's, she's innocent. I think William actually needs the restoration mainly for the stress heal. I mean, he's going to get it now anyways. Whether they have the stress heal or not, he needs that healing. Wow. Big hit. You're going to die to that, so I'm just going to fire at you. Ow, leave Yatsu alone. He's but a sweet princess. <laughs> My god. She's in need of more healing than William is, to be honest. We'll give it to her, even though she's got the restoration already. Yeah, you should be pretty much dead. Nice dodge there, Kira. You're definitely finished. Nice one, Haverad. Let's reduce stress before the end of this battle. Get stress down as, as low as we can on everyone. Might even be able to stall this out a little bit. Just to reduce your stress, ever, everyone's stress down a lot. As long as we don't get critical here. Yep, it's going down. There we go. Okay, we're ready to finish the fight now. Don't bring reinforcements in, come on. Nice, perfect. Got this. I mean, we'll take that instead of the food. Let's open this chest up real quick with our last key. Great. And there you go. Nice finish to our quest here. We've got, like, an insane amount of gold there. 34,000. Second wind is pretty good. 
And on airing's really good on you. Really, really good. We've got nice level ups there. People are starting to build on their skills and everything. Let's see if we've got anyone else we're bringing in before the end of this here. We do have a level 3 musketeer that we can swap out. Uh, and a level 2 antiquarian. Um, let's have a little look-see here. Wait. We've got, we've got a lot to do here, actually. So, quickly go down. Our falconeer's still level 1. So, if we bring in this falconeer... Yeah. With Lurker and Night Owl work really well, even though they don't actually help us that much. They do work really well for Sabrina. Um, so, switch over her name. Sabrina. Make sure she's the right colour. Good, good. And this one can go. Then we've got a Privateer. She's, I think, level 2, our Privateer. Yeah, Ruby here. Ruby. Uh, let's check the skills real quick. The only one that's changed is that one there. Ruby, old Ruby, you can go, especially with all the crap you had on you. Um, and then our Antiquarian. She's still level 1. Octavia here. And she has the Dancing Plague as well, which we definitely want to get rid of, so this works out. She searches where others will not go. Octavia. And I think her skills are pretty much the same, apart from that one. Goodbye, old Octavia. And I think everyone else is fine. I don't think... Cannot be tolerated. I mean, technically, we could swap out William, um, but I don't think we will. Even though he's got the plague, I don't think we will. Because uh, I like that. I think it's fitting. And our Dragon Slayer isn't level 1, I don't think. No, he's not. So let's just quickly go over to sort by level. Go back up to the top. Take our trinkets of everyone, then we're good to go, I think. 46,000 we got here, wow. But that worked out really well. I really liked that, that build we had going on there. If not, a bit odd. Very interesting. Let's have a little look first at our trinkets before we go here. Uh, Falconeer, plus 2 speed, plus 25% da minus 25% damage received while marked. How does that work with... Um... Have a look-see. Where's our Falconeer gone? He's somewhere around here. Back end of level 2, actually. Yeah. So, does she have any things that mark herself? Um, I don't think she has anything that marks herself. If she did, that would be so good. I don't think that's going to be the, the player for us right now, though. That's quite nice. 25% damage versus beholders. 40% damage reflection when attacked by beholders. What's a beholder? Um, common claimants. That's pretty good. Um, I kind of want to buy that just in case. That's really, really good. 25% damage versus beholders and 40% damage reflection. But at the same time, I don't want to waste my money on things that might not be all that useful. Um, that's really good. Insane stuff here. Wow. Insane stuff. Either way, we'll leave that off there. Um, I think we I think we've made up a lot this week and got a lot done. Uh, I'm just gonna organize heal by stress and see who's in need of uh, putting somewhere. Okay, wait a minute. Let me just take these guys off so I actually get some real results here. Start by stress level. Okay, so Mary definitely needs to go into prayer. We'll leave we'll leave her to pray, and everyone else can I think just pretty much get on with how they are right now. Um, sort by activity. Oh, I didn't know you could sort by activity. That's interesting. Uh, okay, there you go. I think that's a good a good stopping point for this. We do have one more diary entry before we leave off, and this is an entry for Venus and by, by Unstable Strafe or Cell. My brother has finally made his way here. If he is against our foes, the rest of the campaign against evil will end shortly. I'd rather not think about what could happen if he turns against us. Very, very I like that a lot. I think there was a, there was another diary entry, wasn't there, that I maybe didn't get? Um, Venus second. Where? I swear that I saw another one. I don't want to leave this episode off without reading it. 
No, maybe not, maybe not. Either way, uh, this has been a really good episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one.